This was me 30 days ago, struggling to hold a pose, touch my toes and sit with my legs crossed. Trying yoga for the first time made me realise how much I've been neglecting my mobility, flexibility and balance. After reading on the benefits, I decided to do yoga for 30 days straight. I set myself a goal to improve these imbalances. However, before we begin, quick required history lesson. Yoga's origin can be traced to Northern India over 5,000 years ago. Britain first discovered yoga in the 20th century. The first First classes were described as exercises mainly for women. As time went on, with the help of celebrities, athletes and fitness influencers, yoga became more popular. There are six versions of yoga, each version having a different focus that pushes the body into almost 200 positions. Put your hands behind you, flip them in like this, flip in and reverse it and now sit down. No. And I'll sit your legs straight out. <laughs> no, I can't sit down. Okay, anymore. well that's that. Bruh. With all that in mind, I bought myself a yoga mat and the challenge began. I never tried yoga until now and it has changed my outlook to fitness. So I've been looking on YouTube for a yoga session. I've just stumbled across yoga with Adrian, and she currently has 11.8 million subscribers. And this video is called Wake Up and Yoga. The first couple of days I followed yoga with Adrian. I'd highly recommend her videos for beginners. They are easy to follow and engaging first day one completed as you saw I struggled there I need to work on my flexibility hopefully after this 30 days my flexibility would have improved I also tried other content depending on the time of day my morning sessions consisted of flexibility work and my evenings focused on mindfulness this helped me de-stress and relax before going to sleep yoga was more physically demanding than I thought even with years of lifting weights I really struggled to hold the positions this was a different type of strength and endurance fair play to those that do yoga because that was tough shoulders are hurting a little bit i couldn't hold half of the moves which was pathetic however each day i showed up i felt stronger and much steadier the positions became less strenuous as i got used to doing the basic poses child cobra tree and downward facing dog doing yoga every day has definitely increased my flexibility and balance which has made a huge difference in my day-to-day -day activities after a couple of weeks i started to see growth and progress in my performance and recovery especially in the gym and with my running stretching before and after exercise has become the norm seeing all these improvements kept me motivated throughout the challenge the only thing that remains can i touch my toes and sit with my legs crossed as you can see i managed to improve i look more comfortable sitting down with my legs crossed and I can comfortably touch my toes as you can see after 30 days of doing yoga I've improved my flexibility and mobility my hips still need a bit of work hopefully after a few more sessions I'll be able to sit with my legs crossed and my knees touching the ground but I'm really happy with how far I've come in the last 30 days just by doing yoga as I said the next step is getting those knees to the ground then I feel more complete I can definitely say I enjoy yoga and it is definitely the real deal I recommend you give it a go. It is simple and doesn't require a lot of effort. It only needs you to show up. Your body and mind will thank you later. Let me know down in the comments if you do ever try yoga. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Do all that good stuff. Like, comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.